Welcome to Slab Bazaar's PowerPoint for Pros, a video series focused on helping you become better at PowerPoint. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can customize a PowerPoint template to add it to your presentation. Before we start, I highly recommend checking out Slab Bazaar's free PowerPoint add-in that can help you create stunning presentations in no time. Get presentation themes, templates, and more, all within PowerPoint itself. To know more, check out the links in the description. Let's imagine you've just downloaded a template from slidebazaar.com. Here's how you can copy it to your presentation. In the left-hand side pane, right-click on the slide you wish to copy and select Copy. Now switch to your presentation where you want to insert the copied slide. Right-click between the slides where you want to place the new slide and you'll find three different options under Paste Options. Clicking on Use Destination Theme, adjust the copied slide to match the theme of your current presentation, ensuring consistency in color and design. Clicking on Keep Source Formatting retains the original design and colors of the copied slide. This is useful if you want to maintain the specific style of the template. Finally, you also get the option to paste the slide as an image. This is useful if you don't plan on editing the slide further. If you choose the image option, make sure you're adding it to a new slide. To do this, press Ctrl plus M to create a new slide before pasting the image. Now, if you want to manually change the color scheme of your template, you can just go to Design and select Colors and choose a color from the list of default color palettes. Hover your mouse over them and finally click on the one that you want. And if you want to add your own color palette to the template, here's a simple way to do it. There are many images out there on websites like Pinterest where you can search for and find images with color palette examples. Simply copy the image onto your slide. Now go to Design, Colors and click on Customize Colors. Now click on the drop down next to the colors you want to change and click on More Colors. You can now set the hex value individually for each color and press OK. Finally, click on Save and your template will now appear in the color palette that you have set. Now suppose if you want to add some text to your template, let's see how that's done. First, copy the text from a source and paste it into one of the text placeholders. Right after you paste it, you will see a tiny icon on the lower right corner of the text. Either click on it or press Ctrl and select Keep Text Only to keep the same font, styling and formatting. If you run into alignment issues, easily fix this by using the Align buttons on the ribbon. Sometimes the content you want to paste may be a little too long for the placeholder. You can do a few different things here. Try changing the font size, but avoid making them too small. You can also rephrase the content into shorter, concise sentences. Now, let's take a look at an issue that most people face when working with templates. Suppose you've just downloaded a template from Slide Bazaar, like this timeline template. But sometimes you may need to add more elements to your timeline, or you may even want to decrease the number of elements. Here's how you can do this in the easiest way possible. First, you need to group all the elements that you want to change in your template. In this case, we need to group each object on the timeline along with the icon since it makes it easier to move them around. Once that is done, you can simply delete one entire group if you want to reduce the number of elements. Or if you want to add an element, you can take any element and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D, then simply move them around. But when you're done, if they don't look aligned, be sure to align them by selecting all the elements and going to Shape Format, Align, Distribute Horizontally or Vertically depending on what you need. In such cases, do check out Slat Bazaar's huge template library to find exactly what you need. I hope this video has been helpful and that you're able to customize your PowerPoint templates to exactly how you want them to be. If you found this video helpful, press like and subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description to know more about our free PowerPoint add-in.